I'm not surprised at Kanu coronavirus death rates, Femi Fani Kayode reports. A former aviation minister, Femi Fani Kayode, has said that the death rate of COVID-19 in Kano state was expected as people were not being tested nor serious, take serious measures but in place to fight the viral infection. The former minister warned that Nigeria may face more Kara stories and disaster if more tests are not conducted to fish out people infected with this virus. According to Femi Fani Kayode, it was alarming that only 10,000 plus COVID-19 tests have been carried out so far in a country as large as Nigeria with a population of 200, 200 million people. The People's Democratic Party PDP chieftain said this in a series of tweets on his official Twitter page at the weekend. In a nation of 200 million people, which is being ravaged by coronavirus, only 10,000 have been tested for the virus and from this disease. 90% of those that have coronavirus are asymptomatic. Imagine. This means that millions of Nigerians may have the disease, but don't know it, don't know that they have it because they have not been tested and they have not been uh, having symptoms. The fact that people are dying like flies in Kano State does not surprise me because people are not being tested for the virus and this disease. They are not being tested. The only thing that it's malaria and no, they will keep. They will keep taking malaria drugs. Meanwhile, the drugs to be taken was is to be the COVID nineteen drugs. So at the end of the day, they lose their life, and neither are serious measures to fight the scourge being put in place. More testing is required, and the lockdown must not continue. That is it. Enforced with reasonable palliatives and support from the federal government to keep the poor and needy. Anything short of that, of this, will lead to cata catastrophe and many more deaths. So we should stay calm and save our lives. They should stay calm and save our lives from this. This should be called off immediately. So that people can survive because coronavirus is no longer killing. But Unger has been dealing massively well with um, Nigerians. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. I think the fact that people are dying like flies in Cardinal States, it's all because of the wrong um, drugs that they are taking. They have not been tested of this virus. They believe that it's just malaria and at the end of the day they start they take drugs that is that does not cure uh, COVID-19. Meanwhile they have this COVID-19 thinking it's malaria. It will not go until they, they they give up they give up. That is what is going on in Kano State. According to what Femi, Femi Fani Kayode said that he said that the death rate of COVID-19 in Kano State was expected as people were not being tested not seriously taking measures but in place to fight the viral infection they have not been taking measures they walk around they are free they walk freely they are not they, they are not being they don't they don't advise them on how to, to 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 do or to behave by washing their hands using no uh, face cover by distancing themselves like five meter five meter distance from anybody they want to talk to it all these measures was not given by them and that is why these people are dying like chickens and flies according to what Femi Fani Kayode said again he said that only 10,000 plus the COVID-19 tested have been carried out imagine only 10,000 people that they've tested in the, this whole country when we have in, in this country we have as large as as 200 million people just 10,000 people that is being tested they have not been going to other states other governors does not even they don't bring test kits 
to their state for all these for their citizens sorry their indigents to be tested they all should be tested so that we can know who have this virus but if they are not tested and they don't know that they have this virus they will definitely contact the whole community with this virus why would they be doing that they will not do what is necessary what they know is to 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 to, to loot money to take this money and share it amongst each other they will not think of um having uh, making so bringing solutions to the cure of this virus if these people have been tested then we will know who has this virus and who does not have then the people that has will be isolated and be treated but now that nobody has been tested how will we know and that means the person that did not that has this virus that was not tested or did not know that he has this virus can contact someone that doesn't have it before you know it all the communities will start falling sick of this COVID-19 the fact that people are lying or are dying like flies in Kano State does not surprise anyone because they are seeing them to be someone that does not listen. Apart from listening, the governors did not even give them a serious measures to fight this coronavirus that is in Nigeria. That is it. So they enforced with a reasonable palliative and support from the federal government to help the poor and needy. Even if they want to extend this um, lockdown, why can't they provide the means? The means of survival, what they will use or they will be using during this um, lockdown. If they, were, they, were, uh, if they really provide what people will use or what people will eat during this lockdown and money to get whatever they want, I'm very much sure that the poor ones and the, the rich or the needy will never, will never, I repeat, will never want um, to con protest against the government over calling off this lockdown because they are comfortable, they are f there's food, there's money, there's everything. And they will, they will be, even be praising and or telling Buhari to keep extending because of the, 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 the comfortability. But with this, nothing is being given, nothing is being shared, no money, nothing. There are a lot of, we have a lot of men that does everyday job. The job they do every day, that is what puts food on the table of their family. But with this lockdown, nobody wants to, uh, wants to uh, take anybody. Nobody wants to do anything. And they will not work. We are, like these brick killers, brick layers. If they don't work, they will not eat. Now that there's lockdown, who will want to invite a brick killer to, con to come and build this our house? If his person is being caught, the person will be jailed. So they don't have what to eat. So you expect such a person to stay at home without feeding his family? No. So they would have provide they would have provided all these necess all these uh, means, the means of survival. He would have provided food. Look at what Buhari did. He won't, it was late. It's too late for Buhari. Yesterday, he brought out some bags of rice sharing to, to the poor and needy. Do you know that the bag of rice uh, is rotten? It's already decaying. He's sharing a rotten rice to Nigerians. And the governments are really receiving it and giving it to, to their, to their, uh, to their uh, indigents. Imagine that. If not for the help of um, this man, Sheyi Makinde, that really said, but now state on social media that this rice that the man, this man is giving, sharing to governors, are rotten rice. And the, the rest of the governors, they know, they are aware, they knew that it's a rotten rice, but they never said anything because of the fear of being um sacked or being arrested or being taken or, or they will take their position away from them that is the fear they have but that is cowardness so viewers what is your take